Hey everyone, it's Monday morning. Let's show you what, what we got going on in the shop. On the weekend, we were just able to get back into, our, into doing our courses because uh, COVID restrictions in our area are allowing for us to have a few people here now. So we had seven students here on the weekend, four in the morning, three in the afternoon, doing our coffee table epoxy course. The way this one's laid out is you come for two half days, on one Saturday and then the following Saturday. On the first one, it's where we get to learn about prepping our wood, doing our pour, that's pretty much it. A lot of fun though, short and sweet. And then next, next weekend they come back, we're gonna have these out of the forms for them. We're gonna have them already wide belted just to kind of save some time for them on sanding. But we're gonna jump right into sanding the bottoms. We're gonna be putting our inserts in for uh, table bases. We're gonna be rettering edges, finishing. And then we're gonna go flip over the table and then we're gonna do it all over again. So when they leave on the end of the second day, you leave with a finished coffee table with epoxy. So really cool, we're glad to be doing it back again. We're appreciative of all the students we're getting and all the people inquiring about taking the course. Keep sending us these messages and we'll get you in here when we can. Let's keep going through the shop. All right, and we're back at this table. It was in a previous video, which we did hold off a little bit on finishing as the base is actually, it's a custom base we're getting made for it and it should actually arrive today. So we wanted to get that base here and we wanted to do all the mounting of it before we did our final, final sand and finish on the top. So the sand's almost there. We just did a few little minor touch-ups on it. So once the base is here, we get all the, our inserts in. We're just gonna be doing our final touch-up sand and then finish is gonna be going on this. So, and this is, again, this is again the Rubio Monoco. Hey everyone, Paul here now. We can see some shots here of Justin getting the final sand done. As he mentioned, we're using the Rubio Monocoat finish. And we're sanding up to 220 grit. The table base did come in from Tailored Custom Fab, made in Canada. This is in London, Ontario. They do fantastic work. The powder, powder coating is great. And we will be mounting all our steel table legs. We always use Rampatec threaded inserts, definitely the best inserts in the industry. Uh, and we use their matching bolts. And I think you're gonna have to agree with me, the table is stunning. Our favorite table to make, solid walnut, this is done with four boards. All four boards are from the same log, book matched, glued up, and just sanded to perfection. And the Rubio Mono Coat really, really pops the color. It's just, just beautiful. We've been using it for seven years. Offers great protection and longevity. Now we're off. We got a little delivery day action. We didn't film as much as we wanted here. Just the homeowner didn't, uh, didn't want some, some filming done, which is totally fine and understandable. But uh, we got what we could for you. We hooked up the old donkey trailer, loaded in the table, loaded in the table base, and Lucy was here, greeted us at the door, and very carefully, because it, uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful home that we had to move this table into and go all the way downstairs. But uh, we had to be really, really careful. The base, obviously, was the easy part. And this is where the team is important. We had James, Justin, me, and we left Andy to do the filming. We were able to flip it up and basically uh, carry it to the door, finally get it through the door. And what we like to do, because we were going down the stairs, we actually laid down a whole bunch of moving blankets and we actually slid it on its edge the entire way. Finally getting it into the room where it was going to be living its life. Flipping it over, getting it onto the base and finally mounting it. Another successful delivery. All right, we're back in the shop now with Legacy Lumber. Troy is at our wide belt sander. If you didn't know, this is a giant sanding machine. And magically, uh, we love this thing, it is amazing. We dress all of our cookies through it, so it, it doesn't give you any tear out on the edges, unlike a planer or jointer. And we're sanded to a final surface of 120 grit. 
So just a beautiful time saver. Next up, Troy's still hustling. We have a load of lumber coming back from a kiln that we use, uh, local to us, about an hour, hour and a half away. We typically take the lumber there ourselves, although um, we had a lot of lumber being ready at the kiln, as well as a lot of lumber needing to go to the kiln. So we hired Titanic Trailer Services. And look at this, Troy is truly hustling today. He's back at it, doing something totally different. We had a whole bunch of Canadian black walnut come back from that same kiln. Um, it's already been sold to most of our dealers. If you guys don't know, we generally don't sell directly to the public anymore unless you're a wholesale customer. Although, uh, you know, that's how I built my business. But now we've, we've moved on, we've changed our model and we have dealers carrying our lumber all across North America from California, Texas, all the way to New Brunswick and, and uh, out west in Canada. And this is our dream machine here. This machine sees so much wood every day, day in, day out. We even have a video on it uh, for our Tool Tuesday. This is our jointer and planer all in one shot. Dresses both sides with spiral head, no tear out. Oh my God, look at, look at Troy go. Look at Troy go. I just realized this is filmed uh, during an entire week. So uh, Troy, not as impressive as, as I thought, but still pretty good. He was just loading up the vacuum kiln there real quickly, we showed you that. And some beautiful stickered lumber in our yard. All right, we got a surprise for James. He's one of our employees, just finished high school. This is a collaboration between me, my wife. You got something on your lip. <laughs> I'm still working here, guys. James's mom, Carolyn, and of course, Vismo safety shoes. You don't hear me talk too much about them, but they do help support me and help support this channel. And they've been insanely fantastic at supporting all of my employees. We all have Vismo shoes on our feet. We love them, we're safe with them, and they actually have special rubber soles that give you more energy back in your step. So we're gonna head up to the shop right now. We're gonna surprise James with his brand new boots. Check these bad boys out. Hey James, we got a little something special for you. All right. Fresh from the North Pole. Congratulations for graduating high school. This is from your mom. This is from Amy and I, the team here, as well as Greg at Vismo. Crack it open, let's see what we get. You'll have to take that box out too. All right, guys, back to work. You're in the real world now, James. You're walking past that broom, you're supposed to grab that broom. All right, everyone, we got a special guest. We got Skidder Cav, he works for my brother, for Pal Lumber. Picking up some crutches, I guess my brother uh, tweaked his knee. What did he do? Yeah, I guess uh, pulled some ligaments. So this guy's got his own YouTube channel. What is it? Let's Skidder Cav. That's simple, Skidder Cav. Go yeah. check it out. We're gonna put a little linky thingy here, maybe down there, I don't know. Doing some running around, picking up some. Uh, so you get to, you get to drive the boss's new truck. That's right. Lucky day. I love Sweet this like, podcast day. You, so you got a feller buncher. This goes on the. Yeah, it goes on the skid, skid steer. steer and the grapples in there too. Oh, let's check out some cool tools. Let's go. When you cut at the same time, and you can. Yeah. So this entire thing will mount onto a skid steerer, and this is a big circular saw blade with some pretty gnarly teeth, spinning the entire time. Is that what you said? Yep. Oh, so yeah. it's spinning the whole time. Uh, they drive up to the tree. These arms come around and grab the tree? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Grab the tree and this cuts off the bottom and they're able to then place the tree down on the ground.
But over here, this is kind of the spot where we're laying out slabs and we're kind of letting it climatize to our shop. So we've got two big book match slabs here. And you can see we've got one side CNC'd. So what we did with that was we got it to be a true flat. And on the other side, still in the rough. So now that we have a true flat on our one side from our CNC, we're gonna run, run it through our joiners so that we know our, our facer planer, our over under machine. So we can get this to the exact thickness we want and then we're gonna be gluing this up in the next day or so. All right, so this is a new table we got going on in the shop right now. One table goes out, another one comes in. So this is a book match, eight foot long, four foot wide table. We got a little bit of touch up we gotta do with epoxy. We got the nice uh, Nike swooshes going on or the check marks. This particular one, we're filling up with a brown epoxy because we're trying to blend it in with, with the natural color of walnut. What we did here is we just did a baseboard because everything's taped on the bottom. If you do too much epoxy at once, what can happen is your tape and sag. A couple days, we're gonna sand this all down. We're gonna keep going with C-channel, mounting the legs, final sand, and then we're gonna be delivering this one. All right, and this is one of the last of the Chemtech dusts we're doing. This one in particular, we're spraying with a water-based lacquer. James, one of our employees here, who just graduated high school, we're really trying to show him the ropes on a lot of different things we can do. So we are showing him the process of spraying with this table, just putting down the first sealer coat. Yeah, we're going through the training stages, just showing him how to do it all. And we're gonna keep going through at this throughout the day, scuffing it back, spraying a coat, scuffing it, sp spraying a coat. We'll probably have three coats, maybe four coats on it today, and then it'll be all done. This is the sixth desk that they're getting. The owner himself is getting his own custom sized desk, which we're about to pour. And they're also getting the big conference table, which had the two electric boxes put into it. So total of eight tables. So we're pounding them out and they're gonna be done soon. All right, we've had a busy week. Kilns being loaded, unloaded everywhere. And this is our radio frequency vacuum kiln. We have it all reloaded and we will be sliding it into the kiln chamber because it has a door that seals up and actually draws out all the oxygen creating a vacuum, which is actually sucking the moisture through the end grain. And we just push it in with the telehandler using the hand signals. It's all controlled by this thermometer that we put in the end of the wood. It has a hydraulic press that holds the wood perfectly flat while it dries. We love this machine. It's been going on about four years. She's a little rusty, but you know what? It does the job really, really, really well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. You know what you gotta do. I'm not even gonna say it in this video. So everyone, make it a great one.